Do you know there's one planet in your chart, just one, which tells us everything about your profession? Not 100%, but it gives a great clue of where you should be or where you will be or where you can be. Okay, so therefore, this planet must be used when making career predictions. And that planet, ladies and gentlemen, is none other than the Amatya Karak. Amatya Karak is the planet with the second highest degree. So the planet with the highest degree is Atma Karak, just the one next to it. You can get the list and the details of your degrees for free at astrosage.com. So there you go and see the planet which has the second most highest degree and that's your Amatya Karak. Now Amatya Karak signifies your profession but what exactly does it signify? That's exactly what we are going to discuss today. Five essential secrets from the Amatya Karak. Now these are Jaimini Karakas so you must understand they may not literally identify things in your current life, but they give great clues in regards to what you have done in your previous lifetimes. And that is something which you could continue in this lifetime because you have experience. All right. So now, five crazy secrets of the Amatya Karak. <laughs> so don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet already. And for personalized consultations, please visit the website below. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the content. So now, number one thing that the Amatya Karaka shows is it shows your career and success indicator. What does this mean? So the planet with the second highest degree represents your career path. Career path in the sense how your trajectory will be. So it shows your ambitions and how do you achieve success. So for example, if the Amatya Karaka is in the 10th or in the Lagna or in the 11th or in the 6th or in the 5th, could be also in the 9th, it can show you are very ambitious. Especially if it is in the 10th or 1st or 11th, very ambitious. So it shows the kind of professional uh, area where you can gain a lot of recognition and wealth. Okay, because this is something which you have been doing from your previous lifetime. So the Avatya Karaka will contain the desires when it comes to your professional life. Okay, that's very important because it's coming from many, many, many lifetimes. Not just the recent previous, but from many, 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 many lifetimes. Okay. <coughs> now, number two, the Amatya Karaka is the advisor to the Atma Karaka. Now, what does this mean? The Atma Karaka is like the king, which is the most important significator of your soul, your life at a soul level, your soul purpose. Now the Amatya Karaka is like the advisor, which means the Amatya Karaka is that which helps the Atma Karak to achieve its final destination, its full propensity. That is the Amatya Karak. So therefore, the Amatya Karaka serves as an advisor to the Atma Karak, the soul significator. The interaction between these two planets shows how you will manifest your soul's purpose. So there is one is the sole purpose, which is the Atma Karak, to apply it with the highest degree. And then, how will you achieve them? And that's primarily through your career, because unless you have influence, you cannot achieve things at a bigger level. And how do you have influence? By becoming skillful, by becoming somebody of value. And that is generally done through the profession. So that's the Amatya Karak. So basically, the Amatya Karak helps the soul to reach its final destination through helping and contributing uh, in the society. Number three, the Amatya Karak shows your wealth and professional growth. This is very, very important. So this plays a big role in your financial success. The Amatya Karaka can... Uh, Tell you if you can accumulate wealth, you know, if you can advance professionally and can you create lasting prosperity, can you create a legacy. So if Amatya Karaka is well placed, it means you have focused quite well in your profession in your previous lifetime. So this means you will most likely continue this in this life. Okay, so if the Amatya Karaka is exalted in Kendra or in the 10th especially or 11th or in the Lagna, it means you have worked very hard. Now, does this, does this mean you'll become a millionaire in this life? Well, not necessarily. But a good chart with a very strong focus in career along with a very strong Amatya Karak is phenomenal. There's no stopping. Okay. Number four. See, because the Amatya Karak shows experience, 
and with experience you can take up leadership role so it also tells you your con your capacity for leadership and authority so for example if the avatta karg is very well placed then because you have worked on that area for multiple lifetimes you can take up some significant higher responsibility if if the avatta karg is badly placed it means somehow you have not worked very hard in that area of life in your profession so it could be difficult for you to take up that role or a higher responsibility so the overall chart has to be seen and analyzed and only then you will know what exactly is going on otherwise you know it will be like a nightmare okay so therefore the avatta karga tells you where you can have leadership and how much you can have authority okay so it tells you potential for leadership and management skills and it shows whether you will rise to positions of authority in this lifetime and how effectively can you guide other people interesting right number 5 if uh, now the avatta karaka can also tell you about career changes and turning points so if the avatta karaka's dasha is there mahadasha or antar dasha or there is a prominent transit of the avatta karaka in the kendra like for example your sun is amatya karak and sun is transiting in the first four seven tenth then there could be prominent events in your profession because now that experience is manifesting in the kendra kendra is the life force of your chart right so they can signify major career shifts promotions or significant changes in your professional life interesting right now these periods can bring in new opportunities or 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 if they transit into sthanas and they can also bring challenges okay because it's like your experience has suddenly gone to die which means you will make bad decisions okay so therefore one should be very careful when the avatta karaka is transiting in the 8th or the 12th when it comes to a profession otherwise there could be termination of job because of your blunders or you could go bankrupt or there could be a scandal all right so these are things which you need to take care and this will help you to focus more on your profession in this life okay so therefore don't just analyze the amatya karak see your lagna lagna lord atma karak amatya karak 10th house 10th lord see your dashamsha see your trines and the traits and talents from the navamsha's trines the 5th and the 9th and the 1st okay so using this you can get a very good idea of a person's chart in regards to what can the person do or what will the person do and most importantly how will this fluctuate in the dashas do not forget dashas and transits all right take care thank you